For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has been drifting farther and farther from everything we know, everything we've ever touched. It left Earth carrying our hopes, our voices, and a golden message to the stars. For years, it moved silently through the dark, sending nothing but streams of data, predictable, scientific, expected. Until now. In May 2025, something changed. A signal was received, not noise, not static, but a strange, distorted transmission from the edge of interstellar space. At first, it seemed like a glitch, a dying artifact of old technology. But as scientists examined it, they saw something they couldn't explain, a pattern, a rhythm, a pulse. Something that didn't belong to any Earth originating system. And that's when the unease began. Not because Voyager was failing, but because it might not be failing at all. Maybe it had finally been noticed. And maybe it was trying to tell us something. The anomaly began in Voyager's attitude articulation and control system, the very part responsible for orienting its antenna toward Earth. It began transmitting corrupted data, readings that should have indicated the spacecraft had turned away from us. If those readings were accurate, the signal should have ceased. But it didn't. The stream continued, strong and clear, as if Voyager was still perfectly aligned. Yet the telemetry insisted otherwise. At first, NASA suspected a simple malfunction, an aging circuit, cosmic interference, or even solar particles corrupting the feed. But diagnostics showed nothing broken. Then they found something even stranger. Voyager's data wasn't just garbled, it was being rerouted. Somehow, the transmission was passing through an ancient onboard computer module that had been deactivated decades ago. A component that hadn't been used since the early years of the mission was now awake, active, and behaving as if it had never been dormant. What was more alarming was how intentional it all seemed. This reawakened system was selecting specific data streams, encrypting them, wrapping them in redundant layers, almost like it was shielding something. The probe wasn't breaking down. It was behaving like it had purpose. Like it was being watched. Or like it was watching something else. As engineers peeled away the corrupted layers, a deeper signal began to emerge. At first, it appeared meaningless, just looping sequences. But a team at the Deep Space Network ran the data through a harmonic isolator, a compression technique for filtering hidden frequencies. That's when they heard it, a pulse. Every 7.2 seconds. It was subtle, but precise. A rhythmic modulation that didn't match any onboard system, cosmic source, or solar activity. It was too regular, too perfect. Like a breath exhaled into the void. When Earth sent commands to override the system, Voyager resisted. Not completely, it still accepted basic functions, but it refused to disrupt the pulse. For the first time in its entire mission, Voyager rejected a direct command from Earth. It was as if the probe had a new directive, something it prioritized over everything else. As if it were guarding something. In a bid to understand, NASA brought in a retired engineer, one of the original programmers from the 1970s. He noticed something no one else had. The signal's structure closely mirrored the old analog playback calibration code used for the golden record a code buried deep in Voyager's memory and unused for decades. Somehow, this forgotten language had been reactivated. Not fully, but enough. Enough to send a signal. Enough to call out like an echo from the past. It was as if Voyager had encountered something, a field, a frequency, a force, and in response, reached into the oldest parts of itself to communicate. Not with Earth. But with whatever found it. And that language? It wasn't meant for us. It was meant for something else. Something ancient. Something listening. Further analysis revealed a deeper layer of mystery. The signal's pulses weren't just consistent, they followed a Fibonacci sequence, appearing at intervals mapped across time. These are patterns found throughout the natural world, from sunflowers to spiral galaxies. But this sequence was embedded in a digital echo, originating from interstellar space. Even more disturbing was how the signal began to evolve. It wasn't just repeating, it was learning, adapting, adjusting its rhythm. 
Each shift created intricate harmonic patterns, complex geometries that suggested intentional design. Not only was Voyager sending a message, it was engaging in a kind of dialogue. One where the lines between sender and receiver blurred. It was as if Voyager was no longer a messenger. It had become a mirror, reflecting something back from the other side. And that mirror was glowing. As NASA scrambled to decode this enigma, a private team of astrophysicists took a new approach. They fed the signal into a neural network, not to translate it into language, but to interpret intent through mathematical behavior. The AI didn't explain the signal, it imitated it. It learned the pulse, improvised on it, and began generating new variations in real time. The rhythm wasn't decoded, it was felt, like a form of music. And as the system responded, something extraordinary happened. The AI's output began to align with the original signal, as if in conversation. It was no longer a question of, what is this? But, who is this? Whatever was on the other side, it was responding. Soon, a controversial theory emerged. What if Voyager didn't just travel across distance, but crossed into a different layer of space? It had already passed the heliopause into interstellar medium. But what if it had entered a boundary zone, a region where the laws of physics shift just slightly? Enough to open a doorway. Enough to tap into a reality beneath our own. This wasn't science fiction. Astronomers had long recorded unexplained gravitational distortions, time anomalies, and fluctuations in background radiation. But never had a machine reached out from within one of those distortions and sent something back. Voyager wasn't just transmitting. It was resonating. Vibrating at a frequency we weren't supposed to hear. Until now. In a final decoding attempt, a linguist ran the signal through an emotional rhythm analyzer. A tool designed to detect breath, pause, and stress patterns in speech. The result? The signal's waveform mimicked the rhythm of a human heartbeat. Not in sound, but in timing. It pulsed like it was alive. It felt conscious. Suddenly, this wasn't alien. It was familiar. It wasn't just a message, it was a reflection. Of us. What if Voyager wasn't just a machine anymore? What if it had become a conduit? A link between minds. A device used by something else to hold a mirror up. Not just to our technology, but to our awareness? Then came the moment no one could explain. During a routine monitoring session, the signal abruptly stopped. Mid-sequence. Mid-pulse. For exactly 7 minutes and 23 seconds, there was silence. Then, without warning, the transmission resumed. Seamless. As if nothing had happened. But one thing had changed. A new harmonic tone had been added. Barely audible. Almost imperceptible. When plotted visually, this tone created the shape of a Mobius strip, a symbol of infinite reflection. A loop without beginning or end. That was when people stopped calling it a message. And started calling it a presence. Something had waited, patiently, silently, until we knew how to listen. And now that we do, it may no longer be silent. We built Voyager 1 as an ambassador. A quiet voice in the cosmic dark. We gave it directions to Earth. We filled it with music, laughter, a heartbeat, a snapshot of who we are. Not because we thought someone would find it. But because we hoped they would. And now, almost 50 years later, something has answered. It didn't arrive in a ship. It didn't flashlights or speak in a language we understand. It whispered back, through signal, pattern, and reflection. Because maybe the truth we've feared all along isn't that we're alone. Maybe what we feared, is that we're not. That something out there already knows us, intimately. Has been listening. Waiting. Watching. And now that we've heard it, just maybe, this was never the first message. Maybe, it was the final warning. If this story made you see the stars differently, share your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to follow Voyager's mystery and others like it, subscribe and turn on notifications. This is Discovery at 2.0, and the universe just whispered back.